Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. <laughs> The featured bot in this video is Transformers Generation Selects Black Roichi. Now, normally I show off the box with these figures, but since Roichi is a Generation Selects figure, the box is just this plain cardboard box with a spray painted Autobot logo, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, and his name there on the sticker. So, for the box, there's really not that much to go over. He also comes with a sheet of instructions that as usual are very well illustrated and very easy to follow he also comes with two purple blasters and a little black dagger now originally i wasn't going to get black roichi he came out a few months ago and though i thought he looked cool i really didn't have any desire to get the figure because i'm not that familiar with the character other than i knew he was the drone of black zarak and then, lo and behold, Hasbro announces a Scorponok remold of Black Zarek, so I had to get Roichi here. So before we get started, let's go ahead and add the weapons to Roichi. We're going to put one weapon up here on his shoulder, and we'll put one in his hand, and also give him his Black Dagger. Now, as you probably know, Black Roichi here is a repaint of Earthrise fast track. So this review is going to be more of a comparison than an actual review since I have already reviewed fast track earlier and they are basically the same figure. Now I thought they were just a repaint but I was wrong. Taking a closer look at the figure, look at the head sculpts. Fast track has these silver antennas on the back of his head where Black Roichi does not. So there is one difference that I wasn't expecting. I thought they were going to be a flat out repaint, but there is a little bit of remold. Now, of course, the rest of it is repaint and it looks glorious. I absolutely love the gold and black coloring. It just really pops on this figure, especially there with the blue on the chest. Let's see, that is, that's the same blue it's on fast track. Let's see, any other similarities here? Nope, that's, that's pretty much it. The rest is just all paint scheme. And I love the purple wheels, the purple weapons, the red eyes. The figure looks great. I really dig this guy. He's much better looking in hand than what he looked like online. So now that we've seen the robot mode, let's go ahead and take a look at vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Roichi looks great. I love the gold and purple. It just really works for this figure, though he still has the same problem that Fast Track did, as these sections here really do not want to stay pegged together. Now, here he is with Earthrise Fast Track, so you can compare them to. The one big difference, of course, is Fast Track does have those antennas on the back where Roichi doesn't. They kind of look like exhaust ports. But they look really, really good together, 
and can also be used to utilize, of course, the Titan Master. Like if you have Scorponok or Zarek here, can plug right there on the blade that sticks out the back of Fast Track. So you've got that going on. So you can do that the exact same way with Roichi. Now that is actually a pretty lame way to uh, drive a vehicle. I really wish there was a way they could have utilized the cockpit there to get the Titan Masters more secured, but it is what it is. So there you go, guys. One final look at Roichi and Fast Track together in vehicle mode. Now, since Black Rorchi is a modulator, he has another cool gimmick for us Generation 1 fans. Just take your Black Rorchi figure, get him in your hands like so, give him a good squeeze, and you can imitate what it's like to own an original Black Rorchi, with the original being plagued with GPS and all. So, does a Transformers Generation Selects Black Rorchi belong in your collection? Well, if you plan on picking up the upcoming Black Zarek release, without a doubt, absolutely, those two are going to go great together, just like Fast Track and Scorpion. Now, if you don't plan on picking up Black Zarek, it's kind of up in the air. If you already have Fast Track, you know what you're going to expect from Black Zarek, though I really do like those gold and purple colors. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!